Ibiza Outback. It is midday, very, very hot, the most intense part of the day. This is the perfect atmosphere to spot the creature that I have just spotted, and I'm very, very excited about this. As you can see, he seems to be quite sprawled out, looking quite pale in the skin, quite pallid and also perspiring quite heavily. You can see that it's just undergone some sort of physical adventure. Absolutely glorious. And completely oblivious. Let's get closer. Toddler. Toddler! Mm -hmm. Toddler! How did you get like this? Big night. Big night. Tonight is the night, quite literally, as you can see. On the terrace, Animac presents myself, Diplo, Todd the team, Miss Dynamite, and the mighty sounds of Nero. It should be amazing. Fingers crossed. Every time I come in and I step up in the building and we let the fire says, I hope you know we gotta run on, cause you gotta know that when we get this right, I'm winning. Put your hands in the air right now! I heard him up, give it to him. Word him up, let me do him. So he's come all the way from Florida via Cambodia, via Timbuktu, via Dublin, via Inverness, via Portugal, via Madrid, via every other city in the world. It's Diplo, everybody! Woo! He's just off the decks, how was it for you? It was great, man. Amp's the best night in the season, man, for me. I feel yeah. It's my third time doing it, so it's yeah. awesome. I don't know what it was, like some drum step beat. Just, yeah. just to kind of, I had to change it up because you smashed it with the big room anthem, yeah, so I had to like yeah. change it up a little Completely, bit. Really, but I like that. That's great. That's cool. That's and I, I did best. a little big room too. I can, I kind of sprinkle yeah. a little big room. Let's walk and talk. How many gigs have you got in 365 days in the year? How many Probably gigs do you play? Like 310 or something. This is the hardest working DJ in DJ day. Diplo, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Andy. Please See bring you it the back. Next one. We love you. I love you. Keep doing what you do. I will. This, this is it. This is amazing. Bye. <laughs> He's planking. He's planking. He's planking. Do you know about planking? You do now. This is what it's all about. <laughs> right, babe. Get in. I'll close the door behind you. <laughs> all right, bye. Bye, Diplo. So we're in the back of the car with the one and only toddler T. He's a big DJ in the game, but in a beat that there are, believe it or not, there are bigger ones. Now we are on our way to meet possibly the biggest. Uh, Mr. Carl Cox, he is the beat that royalty. He's got a Tuesday night in space every week. He's been on the island for years. T, I thought I could speak to you because last night we went to Privilege and you actually managed to hook up with Tiesto. Yeah, I did. I mean, one of the reasons I came here was obviously to play Finding Map Presents. It's the best rave in the world. However, there was one guy I wanted to meet. So I got a call, we got yeah. a taxi and we yeah. went to Privilege. Yeah. And I've never been to Privilege. No. It looked a bit like Meadowall. <laughs> However, I was there to meet T Flaflo. Now he. <laughs> Tiesto! <laughs> Sorry, Tiesto. Big man in the game. Now, me and him, now, I don't know if you noticed, we had a word backstage. Things might happen. We are now friends, good friends. Check this out. So we are here at the very back of legendary nightclub space with one of the most legendary Ibiza and global DJs in the world, <laughs> Mr. Carl Cox. <laughs> How you doing? I'm still sweating from my set from before, you know, it's, uh, you've really caught me uh, right in the middle of everything. <laughs> I know, well, thanks for having us. You have such an amazing legacy and history on this island. When did you come here first and DJ? I, I came here first uh, in 1984 and I wanted to, to see it, you know, and to, just to, to, to feel the, the, the spirit on the island and to really get into it, but I never had any money. Yeah. So the money I saved up and we got ourselves a Fiat Panda and, uh, and that was our home for three days. And the mad thing was we basically drove there at night. So it was kind of like uh, quite cool and a bit of breeze going through the yeah, car yeah, yeah. Uh, in the morning at six o'clock in the morning when the sun rose, we were Ooh. roasted. <laughs> and how long have you been doing your night here in space? Many years ago, there was no dance floor on the terrace. It was there, but it was full of cushions and people yeah. hanging out. And obviously no roof. 
and no roof yeah. or anything. So yeah. it was never really the dance floor, but basically because of my mobile disco days, yeah. I was I could see the dance floor for what it was. Yeah. So I was like, right, we put the speakers here, we put the turntables here, a little bit of lighting, yeah. and hopefully people will come onto the dance floor and have a really good time. Yeah. Well, a thousand people thought the same thing, and uh, we, and I think that the, the, the legendary terrace was born from that day on. So. So you were responsible for the space there. Vanilla. Who's the kind of oddest or the most like surprising guest you've ever had at Space? Well, we've had quite a few actually, uh, quite odd ones, and, and I just think, well, I, I have no clue what you're doing here whatsoever. <laughs> Dr. Dre. Uh, oh, well, Dr. Dre. What? Was here. <laughs> what? Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre came in, and I was standing there. DJ and all he said was like, this night is rocking. It, is, it really opened up my eyes to house music. He said, you are the king of this music, I'm sure of it. And uh, thanks for allowing me to come into the booth. One of the nicest guys I've ever met in the scene. I want to ride my The one and only Zane Lowe. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> that was a wake up call. That was like the most excit <laughs> excitement I've heard all day. Hi, babe. How's it going? Tell me, like, what do you play out nowadays? Because uh, obviously people know you from being on the radio. Uh, well, it's, it's the same it's always been in, in some ways, in, this, in the sense that it, it's a lot of different yeah. genres. Like, I don't really Zane's stick got the to fastest around. hands when it comes to DJing. It's like. <laughs> It's just there to mask my like, it's obvious mental. lack of ability. Shut up! Like, it's mental. It's, it's like you can't, they move so fast, you can't, it's like, what is this man doing? I'm the AD DJ. Like, I can't sit there and ride and blend and mix for sort of 10 minutes. For me, it's just about kind of wanting to yeah. smash cue points and make things sound really yeah. dynamic and yeah. rough. Who is the person that you've met in your life that you've been the most starstruck by? I mean, you've interviewed everybody. I would shit my pants <laughs> if I met Q-Tip, I think. I would probably just have an accident. <laughs> I'd be like, if this is really awkward tip. <laughs> I've just shat myself. I've I'm just so shat sorry. myself. I need five, okay? <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go buy some trousers. <laughs> I'm gonna go listen to low-end theory, wipe my ass, come back, and be res proper respectful. Maybe shit myself all over. Maybe again. shit myself. I'm not sure. I'm not, I can't tell. <laughs> it could happen. Listen up everybody, the bottom line. I'm a black intellect, but I'm refined. One of the things I love about Ibiza is the contrast between people on the way to the island and on the way back from the island. On the way, it's all like, why I bird booze, come on, let's go, let's get wasted. On the plane, they're all leery and they clap when you land. And then when you get back, it's like death, nothing. No one can look at any, anyone in the eye. They've all got the shakes. They're all like really sunburnt and haven't slept and dehydrated. And it's literally like the polar opposite moods. It's jokes. That's what Ibiza does to you. Breaks you. Big night. Big night. 